Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve, and I'm here today with Nima, Mike, Christy, Bat. Uh, we're going to be talking today about the Hobbesian state of nature. First, we're going to listen hear from Mike, his beer corner. Well, I don't know if Thomas Hobbes would approve of this beer, and I really don't care because I'm not <laughs> the biggest fan of Thomas Hobbes, obviously. Um, this, I've uh, had this one before, and that's why I bought it again. It's uh, Bootlegger's Brewery. I'm not sure where they're at, uh, but it's their Rustic Rye IPA. Uh, big fan of uh, beer with rye, uh, rye wheat in it. It's always been amazing to me. It's up there. Rye with, or wheat? Uh, rye wheat. It's the same thing. Rye. So it's a type of. Rye wheat. is a different Kernel. grain than rye, wheat. Rye is. Grain. No, I thought it was rye was like a it was like a strain of wheat that was just hardier. I don't know. I think it's a different grain altogether. I would ask the internet. Yeah, the internet <laughs> didn't know. I could have yeah, yeah. sworn it was... It Look was, it up yourselves. <laughs> you shall sacrifice a goat to Google. Yeah. <laughs> the, or, the, the Oracle of Google, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a Rustic Rye IPA. Uh, it's pretty damn good and not super expensive either. So Who's the brewery? Uh, Bootlegger's Brewery. Oh, yeah, I like that place. Uh, they're pretty good. And cost, you know, effective. <laughs> what does it make it? What makes the IPA, the Indian Pale Ale? What is that? Extra hops. <laughs> or Pretty much. Hops. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it it the ori- the origin of it is uh, it's actually English, and the India Trading Company had a monopoly pretty much on import exports, and for the long journeys that would they would take over the oceans, they would add lots of hops to preserve the beer longer. Oh. And thus the IPA was born. India Pale Ale. That's what it stands for. So it's yeah. Indian not, I didn't from know that. the Asian Indian, not the uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Native American. So. Uh-huh. Of course, you, now we have American IPAs. But, but not, it's the, the, not the Native IP, American. Indian in IPA comes from the Indian Trading Company. Very cool. Those really cool ships they have. Sorry. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> tall ships are, are beautiful, you know. It's just not takes forever to get around in them, that's all. Uh, first thing I think we should address is what is the Hobbesian state of nature? What does that mean? Uh, this quote comes from Leviathan, chapter 13, page 32, and he wrote, Whatsoever, therefore, is consequent to the time of where, where every man is enemy to every man, the same is consequent to the time wherein men live without other security than what their own strength and their own invention shall furnish them withal. In such condition there is no place for industry, because the fruit thereof is uncertain. And consequently no culture of the earth, no navigation, nor use of the commodities that may be imported by sea, no commodious building, No instruments of moving and removing things as require much force. No knowledge of the face of the earth. No account of time. No arts. No letters. No society. And which is worst of all, continual fear and danger of violent death. And the life of man, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, in short. He's a pessimist. (laughs) You could sum it up like that. He did not have a high opinion of of... Humans. Yeah, he yeah. he pretty much believed that humanity, uh, the nature of man was evil. Yeah, and from That's what I understand, sad. you know, you can kind of think of like how people grew up. You know, how that that influences mm-hmm. their 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 line of thinking and whatnot. Is uh, he grew? He was born during a famine, and he oh. made it through. But you know, he's yeah. seen his you know his his neighbors die, right. and you know, or at least get really skinny. <laughs> you know, and and that sort of a thing. So you can you can. I, he empathize yeah. at least that like he what he's seen on a daily right. basis when he's a child is people dying and then when he was a teenager that's when the Spanish Armada showed up so there was that ominous threat of you know which of course didn't last very long because they what you, when when was this what around I it was around this mid fifteen hundreds yeah yeah yeah, oh, that's yeah. Real, okay. um right. you know uh, Elizabeth the uh, second and that's here. No, uh, Where? England. no I was England. Oh. kidding. England. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> not, not New York. That's a New Yorker. That's a, her whole life is based Maybe on Maybe York. York. Not New York. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> old, old York. Was he around I, when 
John Locke was around too? About the same time yeah. frame. Not exactly. I don't know. I think he was a little before Locke. Yeah. So I think he, he influenced Locke a lot though, I believe. Right. Why did you pick this topic? I just think it's a lot... When you talk to somebody about uh, a, a possible future without government, that's their first thought almost. I know it was mine when I first started delving into the ice ideas of of liberty was that well that would be the it would be chaotic right, you, you, right. you can have a society right. without government right but, it, but and, who creates government though i'm sorry but who creates government exactly well and, and you got to deal with who are the people who are actually getting involved in the government the yeah people who want to control others Psychopaths. people yeah the people well who, and and there's there's a common we're just kidding common outside. idea too that just i mean Sorry. If if man no. is evil, then why do you want evil people ruling over you? Exactly. Yeah. And if people are good, you don't need government. So. But uh, they believe that people are bad, and uh, that's what a lot of people you talk to. It's like most people are bad. That's why you need government, and it's just a very small percentage of people are bad, really. Yeah. There are some people who do not do things that are nice to people. I mean, the there's government. been but studies yeah. shown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There's, yes. been, there's been studies shown that 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 say roughly about two percent. Yeah, it's really small. Without it's, without know. any rules yeah. at all, yeah. would continue. Yeah. Well, it's really small. I was always activity. raised with the the idea that there is no such thing as a bad person. Yeah. And yeah. it took me a while to like accept that or think that way, but. Um, Somebody once explained it as there's nobody, there's nothing as a bad person, just people like fall off their path of, yeah. Yeah. of the righteous way or whatever it is. But I mean, you can't, I don't think evil can survive. Like if I'm stealing it, if I'm robbing everybody here every night, well, you guys are just going to stop. Like either going to kill your me or, or beat me up or save your money. So I'll right. yeah. starve yeah. to death, basically. Yeah, yeah it, it's beneficial. Uh, to act in a manner that is beneficial to others. Yeah. It's beneficial for you and them. It's yeah. People don't always act rationally, but... Yeah. When sometimes we they're were scared. And, and sometimes, out, of fear, out of fear, people some, do. Sometimes it's beneficial in the short run also. Mm -hmm. uh, when we uh, were driving up here from the Bat Cave, we, we were talking about <laughs> um, uh, that, uh, you know, it's, it's more beneficial for people to trade. Right. Oh yeah, you know than it is to of than it you yeah. know because if, you, if you think about like hunter gatherer things you've got these small tribes, it doesn't make sense for them to be like let's fight you've got eight people we've got eight people let's go and see who wins and we'll take all your shit because most likely both are either, you know there's gonna be a large portion on both sides that are gonna die or get injured you know permanently they might break a leg it's not gonna set right all this sort of stuff it's not worth the risk number one. Yeah. What if I got 50 people and you have eight, though? Yeah, see, that's, okay. the, that's the, well, the big Island. gangs, bigger gangs. Oh, yeah, they ran out of resources. Yeah, that was really yeah. interesting. That, that's using, a really interesting story, Easter Island. Which one? They're, what? They're chopping on wood to make these huge... Uh, the stone head. things? Yeah, the stone yeah, those, yeah. So, the, well, they need trees to survive, right? And then they eventually, like, there were so little resources, they were fighting each other, and then they ended up killing each other off or dying. Do we, how do we know that? What? That's what the, that, the, the documentary on. Archaeologists? I know, but I mean... Okay. The, when the, when, the archaeology. Mm -hmm. And then the action... And then the other thing is, is that, I mean, they're... Try not to get off topic, but the uh, original... Uh, oh, my fault. I'm the one who's still talking about it. Um, the, 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 the first... Uh, I, I suppose it is, yeah. Uh, the, the, the first uh, English admiral, whomever... That showed up on the island. He was told that story that had been passed uh, down like orally okay. through tell generations. Things got passed down with storytelling. Yeah, yeah, and there was okay. you know very few right. people living on the island, right. and you know, and he didn't really believe the story. But then as things go on, it kind of checks out. Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the you know, David Friedman. I, I was watching one of his videos about legal systems, mm -hmm. which we'll probably talk about next weekend. If or next week, if you guys are interested in doing that. Uh, if we don't talk about robot sex, right, 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 right exactly, right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's a jackalope. Sorry. Yes. But uh, uh, what? What? He he had an interesting point. He said, he said if the Hobbesian state of nature is really mm -hmm. what humans are in a state of nature, as in without a government, mm -hmm. how Evil? did we ever not be like that? 
how did we move beyond this? How did we ever move beyond the state of nature if that was the case? Here's my theory. Uh. Is the, the animals that stay wild and, and crazy and, like, you know, like, have you ever seen a Tanz- Tasmanian devil? They're adorable. They're the most. <laughs> They're delicious. adorable. I mean, if you put your hand there to feed them, they will literally try to eat your hand. Like, they'll, they'll literally bite the hand. So they don't. They didn't evolve very much. But the animals that see it. T- it's an were evolution. Good, I totally agree with you. And they were able to, you. like you know, yeah. think. And, I do believe yeah. that and we have evolved. evolved. I do. I mean, yeah. We're still not finished. Evolving. No, we're still I evolving. Agree. Yes, we're still evolving. Yeah. Evolving out of fear. Evolving out of that. There's limited that we can't like work together. Out of fear, we're exactly. evolving into a higher. Yeah. And I, and I suppose. And it, since oh, since. Sure. Com- I'm sorry, just real quick. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, <laughs> since, <laughs> since, since, since cooperation is so obviously better for everyone involved, mm-hmm. that's going to be the way that we're going, that, that we're going to evolve, or we're going to die off. I, yeah, think, I, I think it really is a, is a race to either get rid of government or... Go extinct as a species. Right. Yeah. Well, they'll kill us. Yeah, they Burning will kill man. us if. Yeah. Well, I was just gonna say, uh, shameless plug, everybody. <laughs> um, if uh, you want to see how uh, you know a group of people can cooperate and interact without any government controls, badges, authority, that sort of <laughs> crazy nonsense, us. is uh, there is going to be the Jackalope Freedom Festival. Not event. Uh, not an event. Not, uh, not even a festival. Only hundred dollars a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Payable to <laughs> Nima. At, yeah. uh, rip no. you off. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> write, a, write a check <laughs> with uh, with no return address. Um, uh, Jackal Freedom Four Festival, points, July 29th to August third, Sitgrove National Park. Coordinates, what? Yeah, roughly yeah. 200 miles north just, of Phoenix. Just go to jackalopefreedomfestival.com. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, is it .org or .com? Look it up on uh, the internet. I'm yeah. pretty yeah. sure. It's on the, the internet if I you're watching. It's on know. the interwebs. Right. If yeah. you're watching the this, you probably know what that is. <laughs> Put in intertubes, Jackalope Freedom Festival, and you'll figure out how to get there. You're <laughs> smart. Why? Because you're watching this show. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> So, shameless plug over, how does this relate to, <laughs> um, uh, you know, it, it's, I mean, I, the way I see, see this sort of stuff, I, I harp on this all the time, but the, the more, like, I'm looking at the way that, like, technology is going and our relationship to government and authority and all this sort of stuff is, like, I, I just don't see how, like, we can, we can survive in the long term, this continued experiment of let's have another government. Oh, that one didn't work yeah, out. Let's we, try it yeah, again. But we're so weird. We're like the weirdos because we just are. We're the the minority weirdos. We are now. No, but I know. But this how how does this transcend the masses? It, it already is little by little. It, no, if it, if we were to have one. a transition right now, they'd want to create the same old thing. They'd want another government. They'd want to cre- recreate it. Well, they, they would. I really thought just, Einstein was crazy too. At one well, yeah. they did, yeah. Well, I'm not worried about being crazy. I'm okay with being crazy. <laughs> Chris is all right with being nuts. That's okay. That's not the problem. <laughs> what, did, what did he say it's about insanity? <laughs> doing the same thing over, over and over and, over and again, expecting different right, results? Yeah. Well, yeah. but that's not me. But uh, yeah. every week here. <laughs> so, I don't think that's actually a quote yeah, by Einstein. Yeah, I was going to say, fact, yeah. 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 fact check, not an Einstein quote. It's actually yeah. from uh, AA and NA. Oh, probably. Mm. Yeah. 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 Is where that comes from. I said they say. I didn't say what did Einstein say. But well, I'm Einstein okay. left the party. We know yeah. that. But I'm so. okay with being crazy. But that's not, yeah, that's not, what, I don't even remember what we were talking about. Uh, <laughs> robots. Well, well, let me, <laughs> crazy robots. Go, yeah. Well, let me, let me tell you a little story. Yeah, all right. Let me, let me tell you a little no, story. No, we always wait till the last minute. <laughs> 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 I, I was talking to my mom once. <laughs> Silence, infidel. <laughs> and, and she made a remark that I was becoming less radical. And I... At first, I was offended. I was like, "How <laughs> dare you!" Like, I have not changed <laughs> my views. I am still just as radical, radical as I was I'm before. Radical. That's right. But what she meant was that the ideas that I that I hold are becoming less m- radical to her. To to the people right. she knows. Yeah, which is cool. Which is very very cool. And she lives in a completely yeah. different part of the country from me, yeah. so it's not like we're. 
interacting with the same people. Yeah, the people. word libertarian is becoming Well, yeah, I was going to say that earlier. Like, I was going to yeah. mention yeah. the other Christy. I mean, think years. about like 10 years ago, you never even oh heard it God. on TV at all. Libertarian, oh what's my God. that? It's like, oh, that's, you that's like a cult or something, isn't it? Like, uh, no, no of course, this kind of thing is cyclical. It is, yeah. But I think on the whole, it is growing. Yeah. I mean, think about in the 60s, every libertarian knew each other. That was the joke. Yeah. Oh, really? There's like 30 oh, oh, yeah. That was in the 70s, right? 71 or something? 60, 70. Yeah. One of those guys yeah. from the Mises Institute was like, at the time, there was like less than, like, less than 50 or 60. Oh, probably, yeah. Uh, libertarian. Yeah. yeah, there was a... When we go back further, how many were in the 1800s? Yeah, I don't know. But then again, they say that, you know, the founding fathers were, had libertarian... L- bent. That was their... Yeah. That, yeah. I mean, you know, the war yeah. didn't exist until the 70s. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was uh, minarchist, but it wasn't all of them. Yeah. Right. But... Yeah, I mean, James Madison, uh, well, that's what libertarianism is. So, you know, said during the Continental Congress that if we can't solve this problem right. with the pen, we will solve it with the sword. You know, I mean, think about that. Why they're writing the Constitution that's supposed to, you know, create this great republic, you know. If we can't solve it in here by cre- creating this social contract that apparently everybody's already agreed to without even seeing it, then we will solve it with the sword, you know. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty wild. So, Wasn't it Hobbes that came up with the... The so. idea of a social contract. What is yeah. a social contract? Uh, basically, his idea was that the constitution. Uh, the state of nature. Well, not exactly. Yeah, this, the 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 social the, the social contract is not real. First of all, it's 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 bullshit. It's the the theoretical agreement that we all make to to each other to. Cover what sex? <laughs> what? What's that? Yeah. Sorry. We will get to it eventually. We've Hold got, on. Let me still, make my point. We first. still have time. We still have time. I've been here that for four weeks. Remember, <laughs> it's like around 28. <laughs> 29. Shh. What are you doing, Christy? Nothing. Blow it shit up. Blow it. Blow it. All right. Now everybody's going to do our show. Uh, <laughs> now nobody's going to watch anymore, man. <laughs> the four viewers we have. <laughs> Yeah, we get about three. 70 or so yeah, a week yeah. on yeah, average. That's the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> Logging in from different computers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's trying to help us out. <laughs> Mike and I just log in from different yeah, accounts. I, I just keep changing. <laughs> that's the part you're not supposed to say. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I just, all you got to do is just, is just change identity on tour and just keep doing it. Yeah. A couple times. Yeah. And you blame it on me. Come on. <laughs> We're trying to scare off the NSA. Right, right. <laughs> Our numbers look big. Nobody really watches us. <laughs> that's cool. And we're okay with that. We've been guys, It is the NSA that's giving right. us a seven. <laughs> yeah, no, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty uh, sure half, all of, feds. Feds. half, half, half of them are feds. Let's be real. Okay. But anyway, they're all converted now. Not, now I completely are, forgot what, what I was saying. Oh, social contract. Social, yes. contract. social contract. Social <laughs> contract. Uh, the, the theoretical contract that we all sign... Oh, the, to oh. uh, subjugate ourselves to the government, basically. You mean when I was born? By being yeah, born. Yeah, by being born. Were, yeah. I agree to it. Okay, got it. Well, here, I got something interesting. Oh. Well, in Islam, the word Islam means submission. Interesting. Really? So in Islam, they say that everybody is born submissive or Muslim until, and if their parents fail at being good parents, then they're no longer Muslim and they're not Really? Submissive. Wow. Have you talked to anybody who's either from... Islamic family, or is very Muslim themselves. You see, they're very. It's always like a submission based. Oh. Like one I think person, that's religion in general, though. Right. It's a control mechanism. Well, the Abrahamic religions. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. For sure. For God, sure. God told Abraham to kill his only son. Yeah. You know, suppose, and he was going to do it out of obedience. So that when he said, "Oh, you're you're basically obedient, my slave." Cool. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay, I believe you. I believe you. Don't Just kidding, it. guys. <laughs> <laughs> to be like, okay, is that, I mean. Yo, Abraham, you Christian, thought I was serious? Like, what? <laughs> is, that, is that God telling somebody to do something, or is that the devil telling somebody to? Well, well you know something that. interesting. Um, in the Jewish, <laughs> in the, in the Jewish uh, mythology uh-huh. uh, tradition, yeah, um. Mythology. Mythology, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The, the, the devil character was called Azazel, which is, only comes up once in the Bible, and it's usually translated as scapegoat. But really? according, to, according to some non-canonical... Canonical? Uh, 
mechanical, canonical, I'm not sure. Books. Know. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Azazel was this character who gave man the ability to use metallurgy and makeup for some reason, and basically basically that? helped yeah, them yeah. to be He's independent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's generous. <laughs> well, he gave... <laughs> The views yeah. expressed by the individuals on this show are that <laughs> are solely so. theirs and not necessarily those of the Nook or the Voluntary Virtues Network. <laughs> Don't sue us. Yeah, that was funny. Good times. <laughs> no, but I, 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 I see, I see the makeup thing as the as the sexual liberation of of women. Right. And. Metallurgy and and there was other stuff wait, too. Wait, but wait, 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 what happened? Yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Because we could wear makeup, or because? <gasps> well, because because we like it basically. <laughs> <laughs> We're liberated. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm saying I'm saying in the context of that Sorry. that that culture, um, makeup makeup, makeup was symbol symbol uh, symbolized promis- promiscuity really? in women because yeah. you know if you were if you were chaste or, or um, desired, if you were, if you, or if you desired, if you were, were the ones who wore right, makeup. basically right. prostitutes right. were the ones that wore right. makeup. Right. right. Yeah, there there's a there's a saying way back when, and I do mean way Crude. back when, That's mm-hmm. is that. Whores wear rouge, women p- right. pinch their cheeks. <laughs> that, like seriously, okay. that that's, like, goes way way back. Yeah. That like okay. you know only only prostitutes wear makeup. Well, I don't yeah. But for that so. for that, <laughs> you know you know what I'm saying. Like it's just that's what they used to say. Yeah. But because Zazel did this for humans to try and liberate them, uh, he, was evil. he was cast out into the desert to be held okay. until the day of judgment. So could it be a real person that they just went on to legend and then they became? It could have been I. I think it it more came from um, other other religious um, traditions. traditions. Um, a lot a lot of Judaism uh, has uh, comes from Egyptian and Babylonian, uh, Babylonian a little bit, um, and Canaanite religions. Oh, okay, mixture of those primarily. And you can um, al- you can almost see the the the. Um, Okay, so how it relates to language and religion, like this, that all goes back really far too, because you've got that whole uh, uh, Indo-European language branch. Yeah. Well, it started about five thousand years ago. Which they according also, to archaeologists, they also yeah. have the same, uh, very similar mythologies, different names and stuff like that. But yeah. they're not exactly the same. But there's a lot going on with like the giant flood and, and things like that. But it's interesting that you know we're, we're, that Satan is always the person that is, hey, I'm gonna tell you how to do like some real smart stuff, right? And like get ahead and stuff. So well, like in in the Sumerian uh, culture, the I forget the name of the of the god <laughs> that that helped out the humans, but uh, their their mythology says that humans were originally created by the gods as slaves to oh. mine oh. mine. Gold. Metals, gold, yeah, gold, gold, and yeah. silver, and that yeah. kind of thing yeah. for them. Yeah. And one, one of them dissented from the gods and helped man to again create metallurgy and other other things to fight back against the gods. And then the gods left. See, uh, were repelled by the humans. That that's super common. Or, or so uh, yeah, it's a it's a common thing throughout. Yeah. The the Middle Eastern religions. And Prometheus, it was the same thing. It was it was. It was Prometheus, yeah, that's yeah, another one. He the, provided fire. He the, stole the fire from the gods, and oh yeah. And I'm sorry, I, oh, I no, took no, your no, story. No, 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 no. I'm not. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna tell the whole thing because there's like that's three different versions. There, there's three different versions of the same story. But but ultimately, like, people were created as kind of like almost like entertainment or you know uh, or just things to look at for the gods. They just didn't. They really didn't care about people at all. And the first two versions... They're like their pets. Sort of, yeah. Like, you know, a weird sort of like, you know, ant colony thing. And so the first two, the first two vi- versions failed. And then the third version w- was going okay, but it was kind of like wavering too. And, he, you know, and Prometheus was like, you know what they need? They need fire. 
And Zeus is like, oh, really? no, 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 no. Oh, they can't have fire. If they fire. have fire, they're going to be able to, like, you know, figure shit out on their own. Like, they might not they, need they us. They, they, right. Yeah, they may not need us anymore was really the fear what that, that the gods was, had. What you if know? this was all just some simulation done, like something? It is. And, it what if, is. and then someone just left it alone and forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody left their computer running and forgot about <laughs> it. <laughs> well, it what, don't the reboot, whatever you do. They came way. back and they're like, what is all this? There's a Star Trek episode where um, they, did, they had broken. that, where he, they go into like a, um, a, uh, a little water bird punches a Watts, who, who's Watts, Watts, um, uh, Sherlock Holmes, they had a Sherlock yeah. Holmes uh, virtual reality, and they go in, oh yeah, 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 I, did, I saw that, with, um, who's Sherlock Holmes, Anonymous is, uh, Mor- Mor- Moriarty, yeah, Moriarty, Dr. Moriarty, yeah. and he makes a deal with them, and he says, okay, so he put him in a computer program, in a computer, and he, the guy still lived, and he had every, he, Fulfilled his part of the contract. What, what happened was they, they, they programmed it to be smart enough to beat data. Oh, wow. And, really? and oh. so, which, which created this artificial intelligence because that's the only way you can beat data right. at, at a yeah. Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. Detective. Uh, detective. Yeah. That's right. And he, he <laughs> was smart enough to figure out how to get out of the, out of the simulation, which, you know, of course, caused all kinds of havoc. Now, you were talking about the Indo-European... Uh, what, the language yeah. and the mythology, like, they... they they're, they're, I, I don't want to say well, they're one and the same, but the languages that have those really basic similarities also have the same basic mythologies. They're just different names, slightly different variations of the same story, well, I, I think. But. I actually worship the god or okay. the religion called Zoroastrianism. I've, I've uh, heard of it. I'm not very familiar with yeah, it. But and okay. then it, there's a, we used to have a calendar that was 6,000 years old. Oh, wow. Which is where the that Indo-European, which is, you know, we, we call ourselves the Aryans, uh-huh. which is a bad word these days. It's just the mountains, right, of in, in Persia, right? The, well, it's the, the whole entire area. Yeah, yeah but just, that's originally. Yeah. Well, it was Afghanistan and modern-day Iran. And, it was, and Aryan is, it, it evolved into the word Iranian. Right. Oh, really? right. Yeah. 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 Wow. So we we're the original ones, which we which is You're funny because the we original have Aryans. Aryans. Yeah. Oh yes. my gosh. You say Indo-European because it's not politically correct to say Aryan. So you say Indo-European or oh. Indo-Iranian, just to like skirt the uh, that's what the intellectual. But the the religion, it until Zoroaster came, oh. it was a um, it was a polytheistic religion, oh. and he chose one of the gods, um, Ahura Mazda, and said this is our. This is the god that he worshipped. Uh-huh. And then he started getting followers and people like... I mean, that's like a whole different story, but there's definitely a mythology there. And the priest will say, like, this is just a story, though. This is a mythology. and But it's like little stories. like And like the devil is your angry side, like the angry human being. Okay. And the so-called, the good side, your the, the good versus evil side, your good side is your progressive mind. Where you're going uh-huh. And that's if you guys want to convert to hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, if you want to contribute a hundred dollars to Nima's church. But bringing yes. that into the topic, I think there is the good side of us, and I think we're evolving more into the good side of what humans can bring to existence. I think we've evolved out of fear, and we're evolving out of evolving out of fear more. Well, into we're communicating what works. Yeah, I guess so. I think that, yeah. Yeah, I, true. I, I, I agree with that. that maybe commu- maybe technology is helping us too. That helps being able to communicate. Being able, yeah. Well, being able to figure out what's yeah. working. Yeah, and communicating. Data. With and I don't know how many of you are familiar with the not, uh, not non-aggressive principle, but um, non-violent communication. Right. NBC. Oh, yeah. Marshall Rosenberg calls, you know, things, criminal activity, violence, mm-hmm. uh, those kind of things. He calls it uh, tragic expressions of needs. So we all have needs. We all have, yeah. uh, we all need to express them in some way in order to get them fulfilled. Mm-hmm. But th- through violence, through through theft, through assault, those kind of, those kind of things. Mm-hmm. They're all tragic means of expressing those needs. Mm-hmm. It's not, so it fear. doesn't become it's so much based. that people are bad or good. No, it's it's that sometimes people express their needs in tragic ways yeah. in an attempt to fulfill them. So, well, okay. So... 
using nonviolent communication, which I'm not the most familiar with, how would you like communicate to you know a, a sentient machine that that that's capable in all the ways a human being you know, is capable of providing love? Yeah, how would you, how would you what, what like? What does love have to do with it? it you know, well, it depends on who you talk to. Um, but so how would no, you know? No, it's how, sex. It's, uh, how it's would, robot sex. That's it. It's no. There's no love involved in it. No, I'm sorry. Uh, well, uh, it depends uh, on the program. <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, it depends on your writing. It depends on your program. There could be robot or... sex love. There could be. I don't know. That's that's something I mean, that we can. It depends on if robots are good it does. or evil. Right? Well, no, there could be good. Hey guys, no. it, we're out of time. Oh, oh, oh. Let's pick this See, up I next told week. you guys. <laughs> 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 Have a good one. See you at Jackalope. Bye.